This is Cerebral Cinema. Movies of the Mind. What was I up to, Kay? Um, the last thing you dictated was... Now, let me see. Oh, here we are. Jeffrey felt that there was something in the room. Something he couldn't see. Mm -hmm. He knew he was alone, but had the feeling he wasn't. Now what? I uh, had the um, feeling he wasn't. And, uh... Oh, never mind. Let's take five, Kathy. We've been at this story for hours now. Ah, suits me, Master. Uh, tell me, how are things between you and Jim, Kay? I haven't heard you talk about him lately. That's all over, David. Oh? I told you we quarreled. Yes, yes I know about me. Uh -huh. Well, you listen to me, young lady. I never knew a couple of kids in love who didn't quarrel. And very often it's about the girl's employer. Jim and I aren't in love. So? David, you're so smart in so many things. Yet when it comes... This is a fine yeah. thing. Supposed to be staying late because you were working, Kay. You call that working? Come in, Jim. Sit down. How are things at the writing academy? Never mind being concerned with my business. I didn't come up here for any friendly discussion. Oh. Now, Dave, you listen to me. Oh. Stop spilling those... Stop it. Don't worry. My coat, will you please? Jim, yeah, leave him alone. I'll leave him alone. Please. You, you... Hey, the two of you alone. First, I've got to convince this guy that he better stop telling you lies about me. Then he can leave us alone from now on. Oh, now, really, Jim, I don't know why... Hey, look out! Look out! Look out! Look out! To Dave. Didn't have what he deserves. He's a mystery writer, isn't he? The greatest mystery about him is why I don't knock him off instead of just knocking him out. Now on to Dick Calmer as Boston Blackie. Enemy to those who make him an enemy. Friend to those who have no friend. <laughs> This piece of sugar beauty? I'll take it. Oh, no. Hold it a little bit further away from you. Uh, you'd like to get out of that stall and at me, wouldn't you? I'm sorry, I wouldn't like that at all. Take it. Take it. I can't that horse and kill you. He'd like to, I'll tell you that. Good thing that barrier's between him and me. Yeah, you ain't kidding. There you go, beauty. I hate to have a horse as sore at me as he is at you. There you are. I'll just stop teasing him. Why don't you remember that you work for me and stop telling me what to do? Who else would give you a 40-year-old ex jockey? A oh, job. Oh, no, why don't you stop that? What's going on up front? Oh, that's what I came here to tell you. Boston Blanky is here with his girlfriend, Mary Wesley. Yeah, yeah. They uh, want a couple of horses. So give him a couple. That's what we're in business for, isn't it? Blanky wants to ride Beauty. This horse here? Oh, no. Tell him Beauty is out. Uh-uh. Let him ride Chick the way he always does. I'm not finished with this animal. Take my advice. Here yeah, you are. Lay off me. teasing that horse. Here yeah, you are. Horses can be awful mean if you annoy him. I know. I can handle her. All right, go on. See that Black and his girl get saddled up. I'm not through giving Beauty her lesson for today. It's a beautiful day for a ride, isn't it, Blackie? Yeah. Maybe we ought to ask the horses how they feel. Oh. Horse, old pal? What do you think? Is it a beautiful day? <laughs> I guess maybe it is. <laughs> wonder why Jim wouldn't let you ride Beauty. He either likes Beauty too much or me not enough. Chick is a good horse, though. I'm happy. Well, I'm overjoyed. Just think, it's been three days since you've worked on a murder case. Three days since you've seen Inspector Faraday. Whoa, Dan, take it easy. Whoa, whoa. Yeah, I sort of missed that old goat. If I ever kill anybody, I wouldn't want anyone to catch me except the inspector. Say, I'll race you to the bend in the path up ahead. All right, you ready? Sure. I'll give you a little head... To... Wait a minute, wait a minute. Here comes Johnny, the stable boy, and from the way he's riding, he's either got something on his mind or the horse has. Hey, Blackie, I'm glad I found you. Hey, oh, boy. aren't you glad you found me, too? <laughs> What's the matter, Johnny? I've been riding around looking for you for half an hour. Blackie, Jim's dead. What? Yeah, he's been killed. Oh, no! I found him lying outside Beauty's stall. I called the police, and I came looking for you. I'm glad you did. Mary, hey, how will you like riding alone? Well, I won't like it, under the circumstances. Well, it's still a beautiful day, and it's starting to get exciting. I've got a murder to work on. Come on, Johnny. Okay. What are we waiting for? Let's go. Okay, Matthews, close up shop. This is no murder. Let's get back to headquarters. Right, Inspector Faraday. Wrong, Inspector Faraday. Hello, Blackie. I'm glad to see you. Forgive me if I rub my ears. I, uh, did I hear you correctly? You're glad to see me? Certainly. Why not? 
There's no murder here for you to stick your nose into. So I'm glad to see you. Jim must say he wasn't murdered? Well, he was in a way, but you could never catch his murderer, and neither could I. He runs too fast. <laughs> see that mark on Leslie's part? Well, well, in a minute. Hey, I see it. The horse you made that. The perfect U-shape. I found out he teased this horse all the time. And this time the horse teased back. One of these stable boys told me the horse used to rear up and try to smack Jim down with his front feet. Finally, he did it. Let's go, Matthew. Right, Inspector Faraday. Again, I say wrong, Inspector Faraday. What? What are you talking about as if you knew? Uh, Faraday, our friend Leslie was murdered. Oh, I know, by a horse. So I'll arrest the horse, put him on trial, and if the jury finds him guilty, he'll go to the electric stall. <laughs> oh, don't bother me, Blackie. Oh, it's no bother, I assure you. Uh, Faraday. Uh, uh, Faraday, it wasn't the horse that killed Jim Leslie. Are you nuts? No. We found him outside this stall. He always teased that horse in there, and there's a perfect mark of a horseshoe on Leslie's forehead. So, there is. So, what's it look like? What's it look What would it look like? Looks like the letter U. Uh, looks exactly like the letter U, which proves that the horse didn't kick Jim Leslie at all. Oh, it does, does it? How do you figure that? Eh, uh, you figure out why. Well, right now, take my word for it, will you? And also take my word for this. Yeah? I'm going to find out who the killer is that came into this riding academy and began horsing around. Yeah, I can reserve a horse for you, Mrs. Wilson. Yeah, one thirty it'll be. Okay, goodbye. <laughs> Get on the floor. Oh, now what? Leslie Riding Academy, Johnny speaking. Hiya, Johnny. This is Jumbo. Well, I, I can't talk to you now, Jumbo. I gotta You're get back. You're gonna talk to me whether you like it or not. Look, I'd like to talk to you, but I can't. Something happened. You better happens. find a way in right now. I was gonna call you today, just the way I promised. Well, but you didn't call me. That isn't the way you promised. Well, let me explain, will you? You just talk. You know what I'm about, too. Look, I was gonna call you about it just the way I promised, only we had a little trouble down here. You mean you had trouble? Yeah, I'm trying to tell you. I don't you. know what trouble is, but you're gonna find out. Jumbo, the boss got himself... I don't care about no boss, Johnny. I'm only caring about that dough you borrowed from me. I'll pay you the dough I borrowed. That's what I've been hearing for a couple of weeks. You said you'd pay me last Saturday. What goes? Money goes. Faster than it comes in. I know. Look, I'll have it for you, Jumbo. Honest, I will. Where are you gonna get it? Ask somebody for it? Well, I was gonna ask Jim for it, but now I don't have to ask nobody. Oh, yeah? I'll have that money and 50 bucks extra for you in a week. How you gonna do it? Trick your own? Take my word for it, Jumbo. You'll have your money. And I'll have a whole lot more for myself. Yes? Is this Jim Leslie's apartment? Uh-huh. But I'm alone just now. Well, I'm Boston Blackie just now and always. May I come in? I haven't closed the door in your face, have I? <laughs> no. You're Leslie's maid, aren't you? I don't wear this uniform because I think I look good. <laughs> I should say I was Mr. Leslie's maid. And I might add I'll be looking for other employment soon. I'll recommend a good employment agency. All right. One that uh, finds work for models as well as maids. Thank you. No, let me thank you. For some information you're going to give me. Uh Blackie, you ought to know that Thursday is maid's night out. Well, that wasn't going to be one of my questions. Well, if it ever is, that's one of my answers. Fine, right, I'll remember that. Oh. But I want you to remember something, too. Did Leslie have a quarrel with anyone lately? You asked the dullest question. Sorry. Oh, that's all. But don't give me an answer to match. Who was he having trouble with? The same person he'd been having trouble with for a long time. Who was that? Miss Baker. Miss Baker. Uh-huh. Who's she? Mr. Leslie's sweetheart. Of course, she would have been if Mr. Leslie had had his way. But she spent more time with David Hanley than she did with Mr. Leslie. David Hanley, the mystery writer? Yeah. She's his secretary. And three nights out of four, she's in his office. Yeah, yeah. He works late almost every night. She's probably with him now. Yes, huh? Mm-hmm. Well, it's almost midnight now. If I want to catch them working late, I'd better work fast. <laughs> This, this was a terrible thing, Kay. Yes. Terrible accident. Which, Dave, I really didn't like him anymore. I couldn't even look at him after he came in here the other night and knocked you down, but I didn't want to see him dead. The newspaper says he used to tease the horse, but apparently he teased him one time too many. Yes. Well, we've got work to do. Mm -hmm. Tough break for Jim, but we've got a mystery story to finish. Now, uh, where did we leave off last uh, time? I'll check my notes. Here we are. Jeffrey's cousin had just come in. And... Well, at least we weren't interrupted while we were working. Just before. <laughs> come in. Oh? Is that 
David Hanley. Yes. I'm Boston Blackie. All right, come in. You didn't wait for me to answer. I didn't want to. I wasn't sure what your answer would be. This way, I take no chances. What do you want with me, Blackie? I don't want anything with you. Well, what are you doing here, then? I want to talk to this young lady. Well? You're Kay Baker, aren't you, me? What about it? What happened to nice people, I wonder? Miss Baker, I've been talking to Jim Leslie's maid, and she told me that Jim and you were kind of a romantic team, that you worked here and often very late. What are you investigating, Blackie? Working conditions of secretaries? No, Miss Baker. I'm investigating Jim Leslie's murder. Murder? Jim Leslie wasn't murdered, Blackie. The papers say the horse killed him. Well, that's one of the reasons I'm glad I never learned to read. The papers are wrong. And I think maybe one of you knows something about this murder. Blackie, get out of here. Get out of this office or I'll throw you out. That's the best offer I've had all week. Come on, friend. Just try. All right, you want me here, maybe? This will make oh, you. Okay, Kate, but I'm going to wait. Let's go. 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 let us go 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 let
And if the horse had poor Jim Leslie, with the front hoof, which because of the barrier was the only way it could have been done, the U would have been inverted. That means to you upside down. I know what it means. And that's what I figured, too. Finally. You took that last word right out of my mouth. Yeah, I'll give it back to you on Christmas. Thanks. Blackie, I'll make a deal with you. Keep talking. You tell me what you found out. I'll give you some information. Sold. I found out nothing. Oh, I should have known. Okay. See what you make of this. Leslie's lawyer told me that the ex-jockey Johnny who hangs around the riding academy knew he was left a lot of dough in Leslie's will. That's uh, public motive number one, isn't it? Yeah, it be. Come on, Mary. Let's get out of here. There's something happening I can't figure out. Let's go down to the riding academy and see if we can get some horse sense. <laughs> Dave. Yes, Kane? Is it all right if I don't type this last page of notes right now? There's no hurry that I know of. Thanks. Well, Jim's death has you very upset, hasn't it? Mm-hmm. Well, I can't blame you. It was an awful thing that happened to him. Of course, now the boss and doctor think it's murder. It was bad enough when everybody thought it was an accident. What are you driving at? I was going to break up with Jim. Well? I don't know. I was just thinking... If the person who killed him knew that, maybe Jim would still be alive. Now, look, hey, that's pretty ridiculous reasoning. You don't think I that I would... I uh, don't think anything. I just wanted you to know the way I felt about it. That's all. And I want you to know something else. What's that? That any ideas I have on the subject, I'll keep to myself. I see. Just between you and me, Dave. Unless, of course, you ever do something to make me... Change my mind. Well, Blackie? Well, I don't know. Looks like our trip was wasted. Johnny isn't around, and I did want to ask him some questions. Ask me. I've got a lot of answers that aren't working at the moment. Have they anything to do with this case? Mm, no. I have news for them. They're still unemployed. Mm. <laughs> How about you and I having some... a little... A little ride. We'll get some horses and go. I, I see my favorite horse, Chick, is all saddled and ready over yeah. there. Okay, Blackie, count me in. But if we're going to do any racing, I want to ride him. You take another horse. Oh, you want to ride my horse? Yes, I do. All right. Get aboard, lady. Okay. I'll take that animal in the corner. Here, I'll help you up. Uh, there we are. <laughs> Good. Oh, now take it easy, Mr. Chick. Relax. You and I are going to beat Blackie and whatever horse he takes. We'll see. I don't think you are so. Blackie! Blackie, help me the horse. Stay with him, Mary. Stay with him. Saddle. Huh? Good horse. Easy now. Take it easy. Uh oh. Huh? What is it? Well, I thought it would be Mary. What's a that? Or under Chick's saddle. A what? Somebody put it there, hoping the horse would throw me. Blackie, I. Gee, I. I couldn't have stayed on Chick's back a minute longer. That horse could have broken my neck. And it's time I broke this case. Somebody wanted that horse to throw me, Mary. And I'm going to do something right quick before the killer thinks of a plan that will work on me. What are you going to do? Well, for one thing, call Faraday and get Kay Baker. Little Johnny and Dave Hanley, down here to the stable. Yeah, okay. I don't like the idea of having this horse throw me. Mm-mm. I never liked the idea of being a fall guy. All right, Blackie, I'm here, and you've got three people out there in the stable waiting. Mm-hmm. Now tell me what I'm doing here. You're about to find out who made a gym last day, didn't you know? I didn't, and I still don't. Stick with me, and you'll find out. Yeah, sure. I got Dave Hanley out there, little Johnny, and Kay Baker. One of those three did the job. Well, sure, it. sure, but uh, which one? We'll find out. Out there in the stable is a horse called Chick. I always ride myself. Chick. Johnny knows I ride him, and Dave and Kay could have found it out very easily. So? So, Chick is out there, all saddled up as if he hadn't been ridden at all today. Come on out. All right, but I still don't know why. Same party, same talk. No wonder you are dull. You've got to listen to yourself all the time. Oh. Well, Blackie, what's it all about? Okay, all of you. Hold it. All right. Now, listen, all three of you. 
That horse standing there is an animal that I like to ride. His name is Chick. What am I supposed to say? Please to meet you? Yeah, maybe you won't be so pleased in just a minute, Miss Bacon. Hanley, how'd you like to ride, Chick? Okay. He's all saddled up. He hasn't been ridden today. I was going to ride him, but I've changed my mind. Well, what's that going to prove? Will you ride him? Sure. How about you, Miss Bacon? <laughs> Too silly a question to bother answering. I suppose you answer it by getting on that horse. I will not. How about you, Jenny? Want to ride, Chick? Well, not particularly, but I'll do it. Okay, Blanky. What have you proved? I'll let you know in a minute. Get on that horse, Miss Baker. Where should I? Because if you don't, I'll be pretty sure you murdered Jim Leslie. What? Murdered Jim? Oh, you're crazy. Maybe. But why don't you get on that horse? What? All right, I will. I'll prove to you. I will... Grab a party. I've got her. I'm holding her. Good. Maybe you don't know it, Inspector, but you're holding up a murder. Hmm. Nice afternoon for a ride, isn't it, Blackie? Yes, in a car. Oh. I guess it finally has replaced the horse with that. <laughs> it has for us. Blackie? How did you know that Kay Baker was the murderer? Oh, you read that she confessed, did you? Oh, yes, but that still doesn't tell me how you knew. Well, Mary, I staged a scene in the stable that proved it. I was working under the assumption that whoever killed Leslie put the burr under the saddle of my horse, Chick, hoping it would kill me, too. Mm -hmm. Go on. I knew that none of our suspects, either Miss Baker or Dave Hanley or little Johnny, was aware that we had found the burr under the saddle. (laughs) The hard way. No question about that. Anyhow, I got the three of them together and asked them all if they'd ride Chick. Johnny and Hanley didn't mind. But Miss Baker objected violently. Well, of course she'd object. She knew she'd be thrown if she got on that horse. And the only way she, well, she would have known that is that if she had put the bar under the saddle herself, right? As usual. That's all there is to it. I realize now that she tried to kill me in Hanley's office when he pulled a gun on me, and she accidentally caused him to pull the trigger. But that's unimportant. Well, if she hadn't been afraid that you'd found out she'd killed Leslie, so afraid that she tried to kill you, she might have gotten away with it. Why did she kill us, Jim Leslie? Oh, she had a pretty good motive for that. It seems she, well, she wanted to marry her boss, Hanley, and Leslie knew a lot of ugly things about her that he would have told Hanley if Miss Baker had announced that she was going to marry the guy. So she went to Leslie's stable and hit him with a horseshoe, <laughs> only she made the mistake of holding it the wrong way when she did it. That's right. Faraday has the whole thing down in writing now. Her confession was pretty complete. You know, Mary, a horseshoe is supposed to bring good luck. But it certainly worked upside down to Kay Baker when she held it upside down. Here are the house phones, Mary. Uh-huh. This one take but a minute. Well, it'll take less time than that if Roger Harrison isn't registered here yet. Are you sure he is, Blackie? Positive. Yes. Hey, give me Roger Harrison's room number, will you, please? I'm sorry, yes, the room to give out room Oh, that'll do. One moment, please. Trouble, Bobby? No, I forgot a hotel doesn't give out room numbers. Oh, I see. You know, a hotel is a good place for a guy to hide if he sticks to his room. Yeah. <laughs> It'd be impossible to find a guy's room number if he didn't want you to know it. That's right. Hello. Uh, Mr. Harrison, Roger Harrison? Yes? This is Boston Blackie, Mr. Harrison. Charlie Kingston probably told you that oh, I... Oh, yes. Co- uh, you're going to look over the plans for my new invention? Oh, that's what I'm supposed to do. Oh, uh, when do you want to see me? Could you come up, uh, say... Oh. 30 minutes? Yes. I have to make a long distance phone call first. All right. I'll be up in 30 minutes. That's fine. What's your room number? Uh, 909. But, Blackie, uh-huh. don't repeat my room number to anyone. I don't want anyone to know what room I'm in. Nobody knows except you. These plans I have are worth killing for, and I don't want to be the one who's killed for them. Cerebral Cinema hopes you have enjoyed this movie of the mind.